So it was time to tackle the engine on this machine also. The plate is easy to lower, it has spring helping you hold it, hold the weight. Scraped out the bottom, cleaned everything up. Then it was just about draining the oil. Now the engine was cold, but I figured it's better to change the oil than to not to. We hadn't bothered running it, so it was warm. The oil, as you can see, is quite black, so it was probably due for an oil change. Uh, while my dad worked on uh, filling fresh oil in it, uh, I tackled the air filter. I lifted the unit out and you re can remove the lid and just to remove the element. A little bit of a struggle having getting them to come undone. Then just pushing some fresh filter elements back on there. Closing up the lid and reinstalling so no real issues. I uh, also had new cabin filters for it, so it's really easy to change on this machine. You just open a lid on the side of the cab, pop out the old elements and in with two new ones. I'm not sure if the new elements were a little thicker than the old, but I had to adjust the uh, the clamps or the buckles for closing the cover once changed. On the other side there is also a I wouldn't say filter more of a mesh uh, that's on there and since a service kit was purchased everything of like this was included so I decided to change everything I had. Oil filter was replaced. Uh, I'm not sure really you can see the new one there on the side but lost the video of that. Then it was fuel filters. Here we had a bit of an issue because we couldn't find the new filter. This machine came with a bunch of extra fuel filters. Later I found that they have hidden the one of the fuel filters uh, inside one of the other filters inside the service box so that uh, it was a little annoying that it was kind of hidden but everything was included at least Hard to say, but I suspect there is a minor, minor leak down here, this elbow connected to the tank. Since we've had the machine running some, we had seen that leak and I hate those kind of elbows where there is a kind of a washer and then a seal underneath. They don't seem to be very easy to get a good seal on them. So this unit was removed. There were signs that there might have been some kind of thread seal on there also at some point. Really a tight squeeze being in there. Being able to get it out but eventually got it out. Put the new ceiling washer on there. 
but I also added some thread sealant to it and then it was just a matter of getting it back in there took quite some time with limited access but no real issues